Optima Jim back in my garage with an unboxing of an Optima Q31M DP120. That's a dual purpose starting and deep cycle battery. Uh, that's our new lithium iron phosphate batteries you can see from the packaging. Now, you can also see from the packaging here, it looks like it's been dragged down a sidewalk quite a distance. So I always tell folks, and there's some other, there's, there's some dings and dents here. Whenever you order anything online really, but especially batteries, um, you should always inspect the battery when it arrives to make sure that there's no damage to the battery. Cause you know, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes batteries can get damaged in transit. Now this battery is going to be lighter. You can see that group D31M blue top in the corner there. That's also a group 31 battery. That's a 60 pound battery, 59.8 pounds. But this orange top weighs in at just 43 pounds. So not feather light, but certainly a lot lighter than the Optima blue top. If, if you're looking to save weight and if you get into a, a trolling motor application, you got three of these things, then you're talking, you know, several dozen pounds of weight savings. So this arrives, there's gonna be some important stuff here. These are for the terminals, these have quad termination. And um, this, this, these batteries will have uh, can plugs, uh, NEMA can plugs, RS-485 uh, communication ports, silica gel there. So I'm going to set this aside because I've already gone through the owner's manual on the Optima Batteries website. You can see this is the Optima Lithium orange top battery. And you'll notice there's QR codes in the corner here. We have an app. It's in the uh, any app store that you go to. And you can scan this code and get an app on your phone and it's Bluetooth capable. It's actually uh, pretty, pretty slick. So we'll pull this out here. Put it on the counter. And the first thing you'll notice is that quad termination. We have two positives on this side and two negatives on that side. Um, you can use this as a house battery um, in an RV situation. You can use it for trolling motors. You can use it for starting. It passes all the requirements in terms of engine cranking that all the major manufacturers are talking about these days. Um, but you cannot use it for EV propulsion. So you can't put a string of these together in a golf cart, for instance. That's, that's not what these are designed to do. Um, but they do have on, on this side, this is a RS-485 single port uh, for battery communications. And then we have a J1939 CAN plug and a NEMA 2000 CAN plug on this side. The quad terminals that I mentioned. And then uh, one of our sponsored anglers, Wesley Strader, one of his favorite features about it is this button right here. That's the on-off button. And you can press that button to turn the battery on. You can see the, the green light is on there and I'll try to shade this a little bit. You can see the three blue bars there. So that's indicating the approximate state of charge. So if you wanna put it to sleep, you press and hold this button for three seconds and it'll put it to sleep. So if you're gonna store your boat for an extended period of time, quick and easy way to make sure the battery does not get discharged. Although it has an integrated battery management system, you'll hear that referred to a lot with lithium batteries, BMS. Uh, so that'll prevent the battery from getting too deeply discharged. It'll automatically uh, shut down uh, if it gets to 7.2 volts. Um, if there's some kind of issue with the BMS and you want to do a self-start test, you press and hold this button for five seconds. And this is all in the owner's manual, so don't feel like this is the only time you're going to hear about this. Uh, it's, it's available on the OptimBatteries.com website to review anytime you need to. But I, I wanted to give you a quick run through while we're here. Uh, if there's flashing LEDs, uh, that, that indicates various things. Uh, the BMS protections that are in place for over and under temperature protection, overcharging, over current, the under voltage situation I mentioned. So the operating temperature for this battery goes down to minus four degrees Fahrenheit up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. The charging temperatures go from 32 degrees Fahrenheit up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Now with lithium batteries, Sometimes you can put a load on them, turn lights on or accessories, and that'll help heat the cells internally 
and allow the batteries to heat up and warm up and then you can use them in slightly colder temperatures. Our uh, Q31M DC150, uh, which will have a light gray case, same size as this, but that's a deep cycle only battery. This is a 120 amp hour battery in terms of the reserve capacity. The, as the name suggests, the Q31M DC150 is a 150 amp hour deep cycle battery. That has cell heater, that has a cell heater in it. That'll allow the operating range of that battery to go to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So 100% state of charge at 14.4 volts. And you can connect up to four of these in series or parallel. And if you hit the on off button and turn it off, it's fully charged. You can store it for up to three years and it'll automatically go into sleep mode after three days of non-use or charging. So uh, there's, yeah, I can't rip the top off here to show you, but there's, there's some pretty good technology built into these things. And Optima is not a new player, believe it or not, to the lithium space. We're owned by Clarios, which is one of the largest battery manufacturers in the world. And we have an engineering group that's been working with lithium technology on the OE side for quite some time. So it's, it's not something that we're approaching casually. In fact, we watched a lot of other people make mistakes uh, with lithium batteries and rush to market with batteries that just weren't ready yet. We took our time. We wanted to make sure we added features to these batteries that uh, put them ahead of everybody else. The, the common reserve, or the common amp hour for these batteries is 100. So the lowest you're gonna get with us is 120. As I mentioned before, the other one that we offer is 150 amp hour battery. Bluetooth connectivity, um, NEMA connectivity for those of you that are tournament anglers and you want to see everything on your screens, it'll show you the, the different state of charge and the different batteries and, and the BMS in this, in this battery is, is pretty robust in terms of its technology and, and what it does. And again, pretty significant weight savings, 60 pounds for this guy, 43 pounds for this guy. You can learn more about them and purchase them factory direct at www.optimalbatteries.com.